was a 96% turnout of voters today. Comrade Lisa Hanna received 1,444 votes, and Comrade Mark Golden received 1,740 votes. So Comrade Mark Golden has been elected as the new president of the People's National Party. I have to again thank my wife and children for their unconditional love and support as I step forward into a bold new era of national leadership. The delegates have made your mark for a leader who has a proven track record of delivering results and a leader who is not divisive and is inclusive. I wish Comrade Hannah was here, but I understand that she had made a commitment to be in her constituency. If you were here, I would have asked her to come forward and join me. Excellent. Comrade Lisa Hannah, thank you for a strong but collegial contest. The word is love. The word is love. This party will be a big tent for all of us. I am ready to sit down with you and your team and to share our vision for the People's National Party. I'm ready to hear your vision so we will all unite and work together as a party to rebuild and refocus our efforts to build a stronger People's National Party. Comrades, this is a new era. The world is different from what we knew it to be a year ago. Indeed, the world is different to what we knew it to be 24 hours ago. And I want at this juncture to congratulate Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for their famous victory, historic victory in the US presidential and vice presidential elections. Indeed, the PNP is different now from what we knew it to be a month ago. It is clear that our members and supporters, and indeed the people of Jamaica, are longing for us to bridge the gaps of discord that we have been experiencing for some time. We must create harmony out of that discord. The people of Jamaica are demanding that of us. The foundation of our unity will be respect and love. Love for our family, that is the People's National Party, and most importantly, love for our country, Jamaica. It is beautiful to observe the passion and purpose of people who want the best for their country. Yes. During this campaign, I have had the opportunity to meet mothers who are doing all they can to meet ends meet. Fathers who work hard to ensure that their families are fed. Workers who go beyond the call of duty to serve. I have witnessed the determination of our youth and I've experienced the loyalty of friends, family and colleagues dedicated to restoring this party to the ideals on which it was formed. I too am passionate about rebuilding our party so that we are once again in the confidence of the Jamaican people and ready to assume responsibility for governing Jamaica. I understand and believe in the principles and practices of the PNP, and I am committed to the struggle for social justice and the creation of a society with equal access to opportunity for all Jamaicans. I respect the foundation on which we stand, built by our founding fathers and mothers and by the great leaders who came after them. I value the creative energy and fresh ideas of our youth. I believe in a combination of old and new and in between, and that is what we need for a stronger future. Comrades and friends, this is our victory. It is a victory for the People's National Party. I come from a place of genuine love for people and a desire to do all I can to ensure that all Jamaicans have a fair chance to achieve their full potential. Jamaica deserves an honest, hardworking, and committed leader who will lead with integrity and justice. The people of this country need a strong and united People's National Party that truly cares for all Jamaicans, no matter where you come from, what you look like, where you worship, how you vote. And today, you have chosen a leader who, along with our leadership team, will make it happen. This is a new dawn of leadership, a new way of operating and communicating. Comrades, mark my words. Our task will not be easy, and yes, the road will be dreary and the barriers strong, as our party song says. But at the same time, Jamaica is also facing unprecedented challenges 
and untold hardships, and the government is already struggling under the weight of the challenges. It is clear that the Jamaican people will soon be looking at us to lead the country out of this crisis. Our immediate task is to get our party fit and ready for the Jamaican people. Working together, steadfast in spirit, I know that we will make it happen, and the people of Jamaica will once again turn to the People's National Party to take our country forward. But tonight, comrades and friends, we will celebrate and we will reflect, because the work begins tomorrow. This is the land of my